Hello, Facebook family and friends. How are you today? This is Moss from Investor Partner Group. Today, we are going to talk about why is research very, very important, especially when you're buying um, interstate um, uh, and buying any investment property in the state. And you would have seen these promises of buying a dual lock or buying a house and land package and promises of instant development profits or instant equity um, uh, that has been floating around. So I just wanted to talk a bit about that, you know, and, and how does that relate to the research that you should always do? So um, I saw this ad of a turnkey duplex uh, with instant equity of 200,000 yield of, you know, six to 7%. And, Took me no more than 10 minutes to uh, basically go through some of these things. So what did I do the first? The first thing that I did was ask them for, okay, what is your rental appraisal? And they came back with a rental appraisal of, you know, 500 uh, per week. And uh, as soon as you do some research, you realize that in those areas, which are non-metro areas, significantly far non-growth areas, you're looking at the rental of about 380. So their appraisals were flawed because you know, they were selling this, they were saving the self saving bias, you know, they were from the same people who were selling their stock, same agents. So yeah, it didn't really make sense, overpriced appraisals. Now, the second thing uh, that I asked them was, well, how much are you valuing each duplex? And they said, well, we're valuing each duplex at $500,000 each. So you're making $200,000 in profit uh, because it's only costing you 800,000 to build these duplexes. Uh, one thing, so let's break this up, yeah? They're in non-metro areas, which means that, you know, the bank valuation is not stacking up in these areas because it's a duplex, okay? The second thing, when you're building these duplexes, the real price of these duplexes is only coming around, when, when I did my research, it was only coming around 420 to 430,000. So not so much about 500,000. The third thing, um, they were in non-metro areas, okay? So you can't expect in some of these areas where they were creating these duplexes, there was ample amount of developable land supply coming through the, in these areas. And that's why they were not in growth areas. Fourth thing, and the most important thing, when you are talking about doing instant equity or instant profit through development, this is not the true nature of development that you're referring to, or not at least I am, don't look at the development from that sort of perspective because when you are looking at paying 800,000 to build when you decide to sell it you are exposing yourself to agents commission marketing gst or some sort of tax uh, none of this is taken into account so uh, in essence what they were really selling for was was a brand new property or a house and land package which were two houses with a rental yield of really 4% or less um, in northern growth areas. Now, why would you buy that? Like, it just doesn't make any sense, you know? So obviously, you know, they have a self-vested interest, you know, in selling those things and, and they keep making it look like we are not charging any money to you while helping you buy some of these things. So uh, the important sort of takeaway from this conversation is that whenever you are pitched with any of these offers make sure that you know you're looking at the suburb is it a growth suburb you're looking at the numbers does the numbers make sense you're doing your own research you know does the valuation stack up is the rental really what they're talking about you know how much of the cost that they're hiding you know there might be cost relating to marketing there might be cost relating to finance there might be cost relating to so i'm talking about the transactional side of things what is the quality of tenants in these poor demographics, the poor demographics where you're, where these people are talking about these dual lock or duplex properties. So make sure you're doing your research. Um, thank you for listening to me. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.